Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, November 20th, and it is a crisp, beautiful fall day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Not quite as nice as yesterday. Yesterday was spectacular. We, we got up to about 64 degrees. Today we're only going to hit about 50, but that's still pretty darn good for this late November. I'm not complaining. What I am complaining about is I still have yard work to do. I'm still trying to get all the leaves taken care of. So I did a lot of it yesterday, but I'm going to be spending some time this afternoon just kind of finishing that up. LJ Peretti Thanksgiving Day. Uh, you can see that has dwindled. Been smoking a lot of this. And it's in my uh, Jason Mouton billiard. Love this pipe. It has uh, it has very quickly become one of my favorites, and you know that's that's unique and, and I'm not saying that there's anything magical about Jason's pipes and he makes beautiful pipes and he's a, he's a great guy so I highly recommend if you want a artisan pipe he's, he's one of the guys you should talk to but you know I've had a lot of artisan pipes where I can tell we're going to be friends once I start smoking it but it usually takes you know a couple months uh, maybe longer before it's just part of me where you know I, when i reach for this pipe on the rack i feel like okay it's one of my pipes and this one really quickly i think that might be as much me as it is uh jason's work you know, the results may vary as they say on the the internet and in late night infomercials we still have late night infomercials. So I apologize for being a bit uh, out of the loop lately. I haven't been keeping up with comments. I have not been on any social media platforms, and I missed a couple of uh, our videos. I, I don't think I did this last Sunday or last Wednesday. The Wednesday is always going to be a, a hit or miss thing. It just it just has to be that way. But uh, I try to be very consistent about Sunday, and of course the live stream. But uh, just just too much going on. I, I just couldn't do it last week, and I know you guys understand. By the way, this lighter I don't know if you're going to be able to see that was a uh, gift from my friend the Dorm Duke. And it's uh, Piper's Panatella's, which is apparently a German brand of cigar that is made with pipe tobacco. And this particular one is uh, celebrating their plum aroma, which is apparently fairly uh, popular. I, I tried looking this up because I, I knew you know, Piper's Panatella sounded like some sort of the name of a pipe shop or something. It's actually a brand of, of German cigars. Very interesting. Uh, Dorm Duke gave this to me oh, well over a year ago, and I was just, I was looking for that camel lighter that I used on Friday night, and I saw this, and I thought, why haven't I used this? Oh, well, now I have used it. It's quite a nice lighter. It's a zip, oh, you can't go. So, yeah, I've been, I've been really busy. Uh, not with pipes, with, with my real job. I hate saying that because pipes is important. To me. Pipes are important. To me. Pipes are important to me, but I do have a job that pays me much more than pipes do, and you know, so I gotta, I gotta consider that my the real job and my day job. So that's just been crazy. It always gets crazy at the end, of the day. and uh, I a lot of coffee. It. Um, it started getting crazy this past week, and what I couldn't, couldn't do. The other thing that, that's had a big effect on me, and 
I was going to save this for a Wednesday video. But I'll, I'll put it out there now. Maybe we'll talk about it in more detail uh, some Wednesday. Not this coming Wednesday. I watched a documentary on Netflix called The Social Dilemma. And if you have Netflix, you should watch this right away. If you don't, I think there's ways to get DVDs, and you might be able to, you know, rent it on Amazon. I don't know. I've only, I, I stumbled on it on Netflix, and I know quite a few guys have seen it because I, I talked about it on Instagram. I don't want to go into it right now, but it really changed my uh, way of looking at social, all social media, including YouTube. And uh, I, I can't say that it was a positive thing that, that, that happened there. But I have, as a result of that, tried to really pull out of a lot of things. Not, not YouTube, but Twitter and Instagram, which were, you know, more, for me, they were more uh, consumptive processes rather than creative processes. I consider YouTube a, a creative outlet. Sorry if I'm overstating myself as being creative, but I think you know what I mean. I, I create content and, and put it out there and, and people either like it or they don't, and that's fine. Whereas on Instagram and, and Twitter, I'm you know exclusively on Twitter. I very rarely post anything on Twitter other than things that I post on Instagram that get automatically dumped on Twitter. Those are just stuff coming into me. And I learned something about that stuff coming into me that, that kind of scared me. You know, in terms of how the algorithms work and what I see. I'll get into this in a, in a Wednesday video, I, I, I promise. But I'm bringing it up now because that, that's, if you haven't seen me lately on Instagram or you're wondering why I haven't been uh, answering things on Facebook and all that, it's because I've, I've intentionally told myself. Still monitoring it, but I, I got rid of all the notifications. Uh, and I also got rid of my, my email notifications. So, if you get in touch with me uh, by any means, uh, except by phone, I will get back to you, but I will probably only be checking those things once a day. And this way I get to decide see that information. Or if I see that information, now if it's email, I'm going to check. Obviously. Uh, I go to Instagram at least once a day because I have friends that keep in touch with me through Instagram. Uh, not through posting, but through direct messages and, and video chats and things like that. Uh, but if you're trying to get in touch with me and it's it's important, the best way to do it is email, unless you, you have my phone number and, and call me. Um, and, and I think that's the way life should be. It's weird that I feel like I have to apologize for doing what was completely normal just 20 years ago. I'm not apologizing. I'm taking care of myself. And that's something we all need to do. Okay, that was a lot more than I wanted to talk about this morning. I wanted this to just be kind of a, a gentle sort of chat and not get into any of that stuff. But uh, it's been weighing heavy on my mind. You know, there's Thanksgiving week. Right? Thanksgiving's coming up uh, this Thursday. Looking forward to that. Uh, that means I get, well, I don't get the week off, I took the week off, so I'm actually on vacation. I actually took off Friday, why not wind up working most of the day. Uh, and I have to work half the day tomorrow, but I'm technically on vacation. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I, I don't think this is going to be a working a vacation in total, but there's, there's going to be some work that has to get done. And we'll talk about... Uh, Thanksgiving, hopefully on Wednesday, but <clears throat> in case I don't get around to it, I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Thanksgiving days is really nice stuff. Good stuff this year.
One other thing, speaking of Thanksgiving, um, our friend Tamper Tantrum is doing a uh, giveaway contest to celebrate his reaching, I believe it was 400 subs. Which, it's crazy that he's only got 400. But congratulations on, on getting them. Uh, he's got two really nice pipes that he's giving away and, and some of his handmade tampers. I, I put a post up about it uh, yesterday, but if you haven't seen that, go over to Tampa Tantrum's channel, check it out. It, it, I mean, he's a great guy, and I think just supporting him with a with a VR would be a nice thing to do, even if you don't want to pipe for a tamper. You know, just say in the VR you don't want to pipe for a tamper. Uh, but who doesn't want to pipe for a tamper? So, I will try to be in touch on Wednesday, uh, Friday, Black Friday. Uh, we will be having a show. It will be a, um, a solo live stream. So, I look forward to seeing you there. And with that, I'm going to say goodbye. So, until we talk again, I look forward to speaking to you all again. Until we speak again, I look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.